Welcome to the video, comics fans and gamers alike. And this one we're just going to be discussing the role that Miles Morales could potentially have in Spider-Man PS4 when it comes to Peter and all of Peter's relationships and uh, those types of things. So please like the video, subscribe, feel free to comment. You know, anything you want to discuss in the comment section, that's what it's there for. And uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so let's get into the, to today's topic. Um, so we, I just wanted to make a video, a quick one here, talking about some of the things or some of the roles, I guess I could say, Miles Morales might play in relation to Peter Parker and some of his relationships in Spider-Man PS4. So I know in the... I guess it was not the very first trip, but the one that showed him stopping Martin Lee with the helicopter, and it was like a giant cutscene, that one, and then it ends with him dropping from the sky and webbing the uh, helicopter between two buildings, that one, in the end of that clip where Miles Morales is shown videotaping the scene, and then his one friend's like, Miles, let's go, and then they leave, and everybody was like, oh my god, oh my god, Miles Morales, Miles Morales, you know, we're going to get another Spider-Man in this game. So I uh, I just want to dis discuss some of those things. I don't know if we're going to get a second Spider-Man. I don't know if it would be too soon in the very first game to just have, like, a universe with multiple Spider-Men. You know, in, it might get kind of crowded. It might overshadow Peter a little bit, I guess. I don't know. I'm I'm a big fan of Peter Parker, so... But it, it is. But I also think it's cool that they're going to have Miles Morales, and what I think they're going to do is potentially, I, I mean, well, actually, not even potentially, they've kind of, it's been shown a little bit already, because there's the scene where Peter introduces Miles to Aunt May at the, I think it's the feast shelter, and she says like, Miles is going to be, or he, sorry, Peter, says Miles is going to be helping us out for a little bit, so I almost wonder if Peter's going to, and like I said, I mean, okay, I don't wonder, it's pretty much confirmed. Peter might play some kind of a mental role to Miles, which I think could be interesting because Miles looks like he's about the age that I guess you could say a younger continuity Peter Parker would be, you know, when he's younger and still in high school, whereas Peter now is like 23. They said he's been Spider-Man for eight years. So yeah, he's been doing it since he was 15, which I guess would be Miles' ages now. That's what I think anyways. You know, I don't see him being, you know, 12 to 13 or something like that, you know, under 15. I think he's probably 15, 16. And Peter's going to kind of play a big brother role for Miles, and I think that's interesting. Like, I, basically what I'm getting at is it'll be cool to see the way the two characters work with each other and to what extent they... Um, they really hate that because I don't know if they're just going to play it safe and it'll be, oh, okay, Miles Morales is Pete's buddy and he's going to be helping him out and maybe Miles now is going to be taking pictures for the Bugle or, I mean, you know, something like that. They've shown JJ has a podcast. The name on of it is blanking in my head right now. If I can find it, I'll, uh, I'll link it or something like that, post it in the comments section or something or, or tweet it. Um, but I know they have a clever name for his podcast and it, it's, basically JJ running a podcast, I guess, talking. It's probably going to be him reaming on Spider-Man as usual. You know, he's a menace, this, that, and the other. So that's going to be interesting to hear. And I think it's kind of funny how they've modernized it a little bit. And, you know, I don't know if he lost his job at the Bugle or, or what, but it's kind of funny to see that they're like, all right, JJ's getting with the times, and uh, now JJ's running a podcast. So, you know, that's all other stuff. But I'm just saying, it's stuff I've noticed. Um, so back to the topic here, because I'm getting on a bit of a rant. You guys know how I do. I usually do that, so. Um, but, like, what kind of role could Miles play for Peter? I almost wonder if maybe Peter is going to be, since he's grown up and mature, if Miles will offer basically some levity. Even though Spider-Man's a funny character, I think Miles might offer, like, a younger fresh perspective on things, you know, where, like, basically he might still look at things through the eyes of a kid, more more or less, um, whereas Peter is, you know, experienced, he's been doing it for eight years, so we might get some, uh, some very cool, like, teaching moments between Peter and, and Miles, or even Miles teaching Peter lessons, I think we'll see a lot of that, to be honest, I, you know, I don't know, I just think it'll be cool, and, It'll show it'll it'll show another layer 
to Peter's humanity, whereas we already see his relationship with Mary Jane. I don't know if Harry Osborn's in the game, so I don't know if we'll see his relationship with his friends. Maybe Harry Osborn isn't in the game or something because they want to do a different universe, and Miles will fill, I guess if you will, the role that Harry would normally play for Peter, where he's kind of like his friend, he hangs out with them a lot, and they kind of lean on each other, you know, so, I don't know, I, I, I'm not 100% sure, like I said, what they're going to do, but I'm excited, and, um, you know, I also think it's good, I mean, it's good that they have Peter and they have Miles, because if Miles becomes his version of Spider-Man, now everybody, every kid, every... Everybody around the world, hopefully, should have somebody they can identify with when playing the game, which I also really like, and I really applaud um, Insomniac for that. Now we're actually going to get it in a, a, a freaking PlayStation first-party exclusive. Like, this is good. This is good for representation, and this is... Um, Exciting, and I want to see what they do with Miles. Honestly, I've never read his comics, so I, again, I'm not—I can't really speak from experience to what he's like as a character. But I think it'll be fun, and honestly, I really hope that we do get a universe with two Spider-Men because I think that will absolutely make Insomniacs stand out. I mean, I know the comics had both of them because when Peter dies, then Miles replaces him, but—and I'm not sure. Maybe that was the brand new day arc? I'm not 100% sure. Again, I'm not a big comic reader. I'm more into the media side of things and the animated shows and the games and that, so, you know, I can only speak from my experience. But I know Miles plays a big role. I hope they don't kill Peter off in this game. Uh, now that everybody knows what happened in the comics, I feel like it's a little bit too predictable, a little bit almost cliche, if you will. I want them to do something unique, and I think it would be really a really neat twist if in this universe we get literally two Spider-Men that just coexist at any given time, and and I think that's going to be interesting. If they go that route, no matter what, I know where they go, they're going to they're gonna do a really good job. Um, like I said, I'm really excited, and uh, basically that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. That's really all I can think of as to some of the ways Miles will affect Peter, Peter will affect Miles, you know, and everything will kind of meld together into one beautiful, cohesive gaming universe that we can all sink our teeth into on launch and just fall in love. Alright everybody, that was the video. I really hope you enjoyed the content. Feel free to like the video and subscribe for more videos just like this.